So welcome, we're going to do a bit more of an advanced linear programming problem. And this is from chapter three of the Bella Krishnan uh, uh, textbook. And if you want to get this data file, then just go to this website here and I'll have the website link below the video. So let me just go there. Okay, so this is the textbook for the, um, sorry, this is the website for the textbook and we're dealing with chapter three. So just click on chapter three and you'll see the data files right here. And the data file that we're gonna use is three dash one. So if you grab three dash one and you can follow along. Okay, so here is the finished uh, product. So how do we get there? <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, and uh, don't panic, is I'm just gonna start uh, blanking things here. So these are the decision variables in terms of how much of each type of tie we should get. Okay, I'm just gonna delete that. All right, and in terms of the selling price, labor cost, material cost, I'm just gonna delete that as well. Okay, and in terms of the sum product, I'll delete that because what we wanna do is we want to take information from the tables and see if we can uh, input it properly. Okay, there we go. We can blank that out. And we can delete those things. Okay, we got our constraints here. We can just take all these constraints and delete them. And as well, take all of our uh, left-hand side and we can delete that. We can take all of our right-hand side and the sign, and we can delete that as well. Give that a delete. Okay, we can delete that. Now we're not gonna delete over here because these are the tables. So these are the given tables of information. So what we're supposed to do is try and figure out uh, how to input into here and then solve using solver. And what I should probably do is I should open up solver and blank that as well. So I can take, so this, go into data up top, solver over here you need to load it in if you haven't and then uh, let me just blank everything like so so i'll just blank and delete and delete so everything is fresh because uh, again we want to challenge ourselves we do have just press okay for that okay and we'll just close that and again we got on the other tab Right, so what I wanna do is I wanna take this and, and this is what you can do. You can just take this and copy it and then blank it out just like I did. Just take it and just give it a blank. Okay, and then again, do it, copy it so that you have the original, <laughs> so that you can refer back to it. Just to see that you did it right, that you've got you know, the same uh, max profit and uh, you've got the same uh, constraints in terms of what constraints were met. Okay, so this is totally blank. So again, we should start with um, the top. Let's start with the top in terms of uh, selling price. So we wanna figure out the selling price and this is for the all silk tie. And if we look on our table, this is given. This is the selling price right here. All right, so notice, there we go. Notice that we got the selling price for the silk tie. So we can just pop that in. Silk tie is $6.70. We can go for the all polyester. All polyester is $3.55. We can plug that in. Okay, blend one, that's the 50-50 blend. So 50 cotton, I'm oh, sorry, polyester, 50 cotton. And that is $4.31. And then the last one, blend two, which is also a poly cotton, but it's 30% polyester and 10%, or sorry, 70% cotton. And that's selling for $4.81. Okay, we can plug that in for 0.81. All right, so we have that. Labor cost, we'll see over here, the labor cost per tie is 75 cents for all of them. So we can just go 0.75, like so. And then we can just take the uh, fill handle, bottom uh, right-hand corner, we can just spread that across because it's the same no matter what type of tie. Now material uh, cost is different. Material cost is different. What we can do in terms of uh, we can we can set this up and this is the cost per yard. So here's the cost per yard I'll show you a way to set this up and again, it, it may seem like a lot of upfront costs, but 
not so much, not so much, because once you've uh, put it together, if any of the costs change, then you can just uh, uh, change the costs here and all the formulas will change accordingly. So that's where the only place you'd have to change. So the cost per yard, if we see up here, cost per yard is up here. So 26 and nine, so 20, and this is, you can see over here, yarns of silk. So this is uh, $20, so we could just put 20. And polyester right here is six bucks. And you can see that this is across for polyester. So that's six dollars and then nine dollars. All right, nine dollars for that one there. Okay, so for yarns of silk, to make one silk tie, it's going to use, if you look over here, per tie, 0.125 of a yard. Okay, unfortunately, this, this is all in yards. This is a U.S. Uh, textbook. So the yarns of silk. All right, so for every... And we're going to set up the formula so that, that the number of ties can be multiplied by the amount of silk that we see here. And what we have to figure out in terms of our, our constraint on silk is that there's only so much uh, silk that we have. In fact, if you look up here, this is all the yarns of silk available. So it's a thousand. All right. So we can, we can also do that for our um, right hand side. All right. So a thousand. So we want to keep we want to keep it within a thousand. All right. So if we do that, then we have, uh, and again, this is, uh, we're not supposed to go above a thousand, right? So that will be basically whatever we produce is going to be less than or equal to a thousand. All right. So we can't, uh, you know, say, say for example, use uh, 1,100 because all we have is a thousand. So anything a thousand under is okay. All right. And if we uh, take a look here, what we want to do is we want to build our sum product. Okay. Now what we're doing up here is this is our profit, but we've broken it down, right? So profit is going to be the selling price minus the labor cost minus the material cost. And that will get us the profit. Right, so our revenue minus the cost minus the cost, and I'll give us sort of profit per unit, and then that would be multiplied by the uh, number of units. So what we want to do here is we want to do a sum product. So this will be sum product, right? And then uh, open bracket. So this would be the first array right here, and then we put a comma. All right, and the second array up here is going to be how many of each tie, right? Is it 50 of this type of tie, 1,000 of this type of tie? So this is this is the uh, number of ties, all right? Now, if you look at the uh, equations for things such as the constraints, they're going to be referring to the number of ties quite often, I think pretty much for all of them. So we need this to be a fixed, uh, what we call an absolute address. So we can take this and depending on your computer, <laughs> I'm using a PC, so it is uh, F4, and that will make it, again, dollar sign $B, dollar sign 5 and then dollar sign $E, and I'll just put uh, close bracket there. And if we tap on this formula, you'll see that it's, uh, again, the sum product is going to be $6.70 per tie multiplied by the number of ties plus $3.55 per, and that's the profit per polyester tie, multiplied by the number of polyester ties plus $4.31 uh, per blend one multiplied by the number of blend one plus $4.81 multiplied by the number of uh, blend two ties. All right, so that's where some product comes in handy because what we have is a fairly long uh, array and that can that can make things a lot easier for us. So copy that down. And of course it's zero because you'll see that there's zero up here. So that's just adding a bunch of zeros together. And you can use the fill handle for these ones here. Okay. And we'll, we'll fill in the material cost because we've got to figure out the material cost. Okay. And we can, we can also use these formulas here. I'll show you the same formula. We can copy that and then we can paste it down here. Okay. And we'll need some, the same blue for that because for our constraints, left-hand side constraints, we want to have blue to draw our eyes to it. So let's just find a blue, a nice blue. 
nice and bright. Hopefully I match that up. Okay, yeah, it matches up. And then I can take this and I can copy it down. And this is a, a big time saver. Okay, and you can test it out. If you uh, double click here, notice that it's going to be multiplying this by the number of silk ties, plus multiplying this term by the number of polyester ties, plus, and so on. But notice when I'm using yarns of silk, notice that this is all blank because only the silk tie up here uses silk. So this would represent um, polyester tie doesn't need any silk. The blend one doesn't need any silk and blend two doesn't need any silk. So those are all blank for that one there. Okay, let's do the next one. So yarns of polyester. All right, so you'll notice that this would represent the silk <laughs> but the polyester tie doesn't have any silk. But the polyester tie does have silk. If you look over here, the polyester tie, if you just look on this here, needs 0 0.08 of, of polyester. All right. So to make one polyester tie, it's 0 .08, uh, uh, 0.08 of a yard. All right. So 0 0.08 of a yard for that. Okay. But notice that blend one also needs some polyester, right? Blend one, if you look over here, is 50-50, right? So, and this 0.1 to make the whole tie of material, so 0.1, half of that is 0.05, right? And half of the cotton is 0.05. And if you look down here, you'll see that when I make a blend one, I'm gonna need 0.05 of uh, polyester, 0.05 of cotton, and to make the tie, I'm gonna need 0.1 of material. So these two would add up to the 0.1. All right, so in terms of polyester, for blend one, I'm going to need 0 0.05. Okay, and for blend two, I'm going to need less because remember, this is a 30 70, right? So I only need 30% of this number to be uh, polyester. So 30% of 0.1, and this is given the table, is going to be 0 0.03. All right, so 0 0.03 is, is given in the table there. So 0 0.03. All right, so those are all my needs for polyester. So this is saying in terms of yards of polyester, I need it for the polyester tie, I need it for the blend one tie, and I need it for the blend two tie. Now yarns of cotton, if you look here, I don't need it for the silk tie, I don't need it for the polyester tie, but I do need it for blend one. If you look up above, this is blend one. And blend one is, as you know, 50-50. If you look down here, in terms of cotton, so it's 0 0.05 and then 0 0.05 of polyester, which equals the 0.1. So I'm going to need 0 0.05. All right. Now I also use cotton in blend two. Okay. So blend two is, if you look here, it's 70% cotton and 30% polyester. If we scroll down here, that means it's going to be 0 0.07, which is 70%. All right. And again, uh, to make blend two, it's going to be 0 0.01. All right, that's to make that's the amount of material, and seventy percent right here is cotton, thirty percent is polyester. All right, so cotton I need zero point seven. All right, so now we have, and of course in terms of um, constraints on material available. All right, so again polyester I've got two thousand, so I can put that there, and since it's less than or equal to, I can just copy that down like so. All right, so polyester, I need, uh, I could use 2,000 or less, right? So that's my constraint. So 2,000 yarns of polyester. And for cotton, it's 1,250. All right, so 1,250. Okay, so what we want to look at in terms of our material cost is we can use, in here, we can use the uh, sum product. All right, so for sum product formula, it's going to be sum product. We we'll just type that in. Okay, and we can do the open uh, bracket. Now, in terms of what it's going to grab, it's going to grab these three. But notice that um, for here, when I'm grabbing these three, Notice that only this one has a figure, all right? So when I'm making my silk tie, polyester and cotton doesn't come into it. But if I make it like this, I can use it throughout. 
and then I can just do a comma and then my second array is over here and these line up like so okay and I need to make these uh, fixed because I'm going to be referring to them all right so I need to make these fixed so I just do the f4 okay looks like I accidentally got the the b there and I do need the b to float I need it to be a relative address and not a fixed not an absolute address okay I'm going to close that like so okay so this is 250 for this one here but what is 250 but uh, multiplying this number here by this number here but it's also adding and multiplying this number by this number adding and multiplying this number by this number but there's nothing here so those are basically uh, zeros but if I take the fill handle all right, and go drag it across like so notice here when I double tap it's taking this array and then uh, this array but again this would be zero uh, multiplied by 20 plus 0 0.08 multiplied by 6 plus 0 multiplied by 9 so so these don't impact it because there's there's nothing here so that would be like 0 so if you did take this 0 0.08 and multiply it by six dollars you would get 0.48 okay this is where probably where it's a little bit more useful and that is um, nothing here gets added and then 0 0.05 times 6 plus 0 0.05 times 9 to have that okay so these are our material costs uh, per time okay so now we can do the uh, profit and as you know the profit is going to be the revenue right so this is this is profit per tie as you can see so this would be profit per tie because we're not multiplying it by the number of ties because we don't know that yet so we'll just take the revenue and then subtract off labor costs and then subtract off material costs and this is our profit per unit all right and then we can just sort of drag that across as that in our fill handle and these are the profit per tie for that one there okay so this this one here is going to tell us um, total revenue total labor costs and total material costs so for our profit it's going to be total revenue which we don't know yet minus uh, total labor costs okay minus total material costs that we used and that will get us our profit and again we don't know this yet because uh, we don't know what is the optimal amount of ties for each one okay so we've done that now notice here we've got um, all the maximum amount of uh, ties that the department store wants all right and over here we've got all the minimum ties that they want so they want a certain range of ties that come in okay and you can see that over here and notice that they separate them out they put a line across here can you see that line notice that they put all the minimums together and all the maximums so so what you can do is this this is going to be all the less than or equal to and we can just copy that down all right but over here when it's a minimum what we're saying is it's going to be um, greater than or equal to the number and you can copy that down all right so now we've got just two areas all the less than or equal to's and all the uh, greater than or equal to's okay so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, pause and then I'll have a part two just so that the videos are more uh, bite size all right so I'll finish this off and then I'll pick up the rest in uh, part two of this video.